everybody. We're having issues with animals. They get jealous. Yeah. Hi, Boomy. I should just say this one gets jealous. Right? Right? This one's just a pain in the butt. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> it's time for Neighborhood Community Shout Out. How long do you want this thing to be? Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, we only have a few people to welcome to the channel, so let's get started. V S E V T. Welcome to the neighborhood. And they have a channel, so go check their channel out. Lisa Gibbons from New Zealand. Welcome to the neighborhood. And Taco Master. Welcome to the neighborhood. Those are all the new welcomes. We have a couple of miscellaneous things I'd like to add. Glittering the Sky has an Etsy shop, so I will put her link down below to her Etsy shop. Make sure you guys go by and check it out. Destiny Swan, congratulations. Her husband is finally home. Yay. Yay. And Very Merry Blogs, Very Merry Vlogs, happy belated birthday. It was September 17th. We missed her September birthdays. Mm. So, happy belated birthday to Very Merry Blogs. Okay, we got some updates on some people that we had sent out thoughts and prayers on. Julie Hasleberger, her husband, is home from the hospital and doing much better. It was a MRSA infection in his knee. So, he's home and doing much better. Kyle Muhlenbein, recovering from his knee surgery. He starts physical therapy this week and is going through deep tissue massage for his neck from the car accident he was in. So, overall, he's doing much better. Um, Very Merry Vlogs, her husband Vince was sick and in urgent care. He's doing all better now but not before giving it to their son, Lucas. So, sorry about that. Okay, and now we got some thoughts and prayers that we need for Daily Rambles. She's going through some depression and some tough times, so if we can all please keep her in our thoughts and prayers, so greatly appreciate that. Terry Johnson's sister-in-law's mom, Faith, is going into hospice care. So if we can keep her in our thoughts and prayers as well. Gothman, the Soul Keeper's buddy, Nathan, his grandpa, Larry, and his Aunt Linda both passed away, one on Sunday and one on Monday. Wow. So, yeah, if we can keep them in our thoughts and prayers. Okay, and OG Bobby's aunt's boyfriend of 30 years had stage four cancer tumor removed from his brain, was all through with therapy. Three days later, he passed away from necrotizing? Necrotizing fasciitis. Fasciitis infection. He got that while he was in the hospital. It's uh, the um, uh, flesh eating virus. Yeah. OG Bobby has that virus, uh, had that virus, and um, he survived that virus. And it's it's a very, very dangerous virus. It, it um, oh, it it hits you hard and fast. It, it does. It hits you hard and fast, and it, it this hit OG Bobby very hard because you know. He survived this, but yet someone he knows was taken away from this. And uh, our thoughts and prayers go out to OG Bobby and his family. Okay, last week's question was, how do you like to spend a rainy day? Okay. Most people like to spend rainy days with hot cocoa and reading a book or watching a movie are sitting on the porch and watching the rain. 
I'll see Flix likes to do puzzles, read a book, watch a movie by a fire, color or card making. Um, Sherry Tate, catch up on movies or TV shows. Loves the smell of rain, fresh rain, so do I. I love the smell of a fresh rain. But her dogs are terrified of thunderstorms. I love thunderstorms. We, we don't get much out here. Yeah, I love thunderstorms. This is an odd one. Kara's life on the farm. She likes to clean. Maybe we should have her come over here. <laughs> and the Abyss 92882. He likes to go outside in the rain because it's cold and he likes the cold weather. When I was younger, I used to like to go outside and run around in the rain, but not so much anymore. What do you like about, what do you like to do on rainy days? Uh, when was the last time we had a rainy day? When we were up at Nikki and John's. I guess it just kind of, when it rains here, it rains for like 10 minutes and then it's over with. Yeah. So it's just, we're in the middle of a drought and it just isn't happening. Now you had rainy days when you were back in North Carolina. But uh, it didn't rain much here. I personally, on rainy days, I love the smell of a nice fresh rain also. But, and I love thunder and lightning storms. I think they're just so thrilling. I'd love to sit on a porch with a blanket and watch them. But my mother would freak out if I did. Um, <laughs> You're dying truck. Yes, especially with a camera in your hand. Um, but I like to color or watch movies or read a book. That's what I like to do. My question for this week is, what is the longest road trip you have ever been on? Where were you going and why were you going there? It's time for... Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! Okay, last week's question I made, I messed up. Uh, it was about a movie called The Lady in White, and I called it The Woman in White. Nobody could figure out what m movie I was talking about, because there's a movie called The Woman in Black, but the, the uh, movie I'm talking about is called The Lady in White. It's from 1988, starring Lucas Haas. And the question was, what was it based on? And uh, the question, uh, the, uh, the answer to that one is, it was based on the white lady who roams the, uh, the uh, lake shores in Rochester, New York. So that's what that's based on. And those who got that was correct was Terry Johnson. Uh, the Abyss 92882 and Tanya Longley. Woohoo! Eventually, after we figured out that I had messed up. <laughs> okay, tonight's question has to do with a movie that we watched recently, and I didn't know this because I hadn't seen it in such a long time. It's called The Monster in a Closet, and oh, it's, yeah. it's a real cheesy uh, comedy horror by the Trauma Productions. And if anybody's even seen a trauma movie, they're always funny, they're always really bad, and I, I really like them. So, this one's called The Monster in the Closet, 1986. It starred John Carradine, Henry Gibson, you guys remember Henry Gibson, um, and Stella Stevens, and it starred two people who I didn't know was in this movie because they were only like six to ten years old, who are famous now. One of them uh, tragically died recently, but who are they? Those are my questions. There you go. There you have it, guys. Your two questions for this evening. And make sure you go by and check out Monday Night's Trivia. We only had two people play last week. Come on. We need some more people going over there and playing that game. Let's go. Come on. Anyway, we love each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all. Like I said. And I forgot what I was saying. What else is new? Thumbs up. And we'll see you all next week on another episode of Pigs in Space! <sighs> Neighborhood Community Showdowns! The heck?
Henson Company is gonna sue me pretty soon. Well then, stop saying it. Bye, guys.